Another week, another Liv Morgan video, and still no Liv Morgan on WWE TV. But this video is going to be slightly different to the cliche, Liv Morgan will be Abby the Witch theory video, because we're looking at a whole new theory on how Liv Morgan could return to the WWE. And I really would appreciate your feedback on this. So let me know your thoughts on how Liv Morgan will return to the WWE in the comments section down below. Now, of course, I mentioned we have looked at Liv possibly working with Bray Wyatt, but why not Charlotte Flair? Why could she not return to WWE as a tag team partner for Charlotte? Now, some of you be thinking, what? See, where has this come from? And I was just literally sat there thinking about it. Liv tweeted out some brand new cryptic tweets like every week. And it got me thinking, wait, if you remember back to SmackDown Live, Liv's last match was against Charlotte. And everyone's always theorised that very likely she's going to come back and feud with Charlotte Flair. But ultimately, why? Charlotte didn't do anything but beat her. Of course, I love this segment. It really felt unscripted. Liv grabbed the headset off Corey Graves. Didn't just grab a microphone. And then she said she was going away to become real. And that's the last time we saw her. And WWE does like to rehash storylines. Do you remember back in WCW, Charles Robinson, the referee, used to be Little Nature. That's right, Little Nature Boy. He has, on occasion in WWE, help Charlotte Flair. We have seen it echoed a few times and there are still a whole genre of fans that remember this moment, remember Charles in this role fondly and maybe WWE could be looking at something similar for Liv Morgan. Remember right now Charlotte Flair is in a tag team with Becky Lynch and one of the things we keep hearing is that neither of them want to be in a tag team together. Of course, we know the history between Charlotte and Becky. One time, best friends, bitter enemies. But Becky's a single star. She wants to focus on the Raw Women's Championship. She doesn't want to be teaming with Charlotte. Charlotte has even said the powers that be want them to be tag team partners. And the rumoured matchup for TLC is the Kabuki Warriors versus Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch for the uh, WWE Women's Championships. Well, that makes no sense if they don't want to be tag team partners. So, is this a tag team that's going to survive? Very unlikely. And we all know Charlotte Flair's best role is as a heel. So, why could she not win the tag belts with Becky, then screw her out of them, maybe even contractually, so Becky hasn't got to get pinned, and then give the other title to someone like Liv Morgan? And that would make perfect sense. WWE, it would be a very bland, very basic story. But it's a very high chance, I think, of this happening. Of course, Liv is on Raw with Charlotte Flair. So that makes perfect sense. And don't forget, going back to the draft, Liv was drafted. There was a whole plethora of WWE superstars who were not drafted. If you look on WWE Superstars bios, people like Matt Hardy are still showing up on SmackDown, even though they're appearing on Raw, because they're probably Raw superstars, but they were just never drafted. Liv was drafted, which makes me assume WWE has some kind of plan for her going forward. And of course, of course, the cryptic tweets are one thing we always talk about. Um, take this famous one of her posting a gothic-like picture well, we don't know this was actually Liv, and if it is, it could just represent the fact that she's maybe in a dark place. Maybe she's just looking for answers, and maybe she saw, like, Oscar attacking Charlotte at Survivor Series. Maybe she saw that, and she saw Charlotte Flair as a human being. Maybe she starts to sympathise with Charlotte, and maybe that's how we get this whole storyline play out. I think a lot of people probably some of you in the comments right now, would be very disappointed if this is what happens with Liv. But you got to remember that everything that's been assumed about Liv Morgan has been fan-directed. Yes, Liv has posted cryptic stuff, but it could all make sense in a completely parallel world. We just don't know that world yet. And it is interesting to look at a whole new theory on how someone like Liv Morgan could return to the WWE. It's different from looking at like the Abby the Witch typical scenario. So let me know 
as you always do, your thoughts down in the comments section below. Don't forget to share this video on social media, like the video so it helps it rank up on YouTube, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you next time. Peace!